Hydroponic farming is a method of growing plants without soil using a nutrient-rich aqueous solution. This method directly exposes the plant roots to water with dissolved nutrients. Hydroponics has high water efficiency and nutrient efficiency as the roots can get water and nutrients quickly. As a result, hydroponics allows enhanced crop yield with reduced water and fertilizer consumption. Growing plants in an indoor environment also helps avoid pests and hence eliminates pesticide use. Moreover, indoor farming minimizes uncertainty due to climatic conditions. In contrast to conventional farming, hydroponics needs significant technical expertise and precision. A common reason for hydroponic crop failure is inadequate management of the nutrient solution. Therefore, it is necessary to have precise measurement and control over various process parameters such as water flow rate, pH, nutrient concentration, light intensity, and ambient conditions. Moreover, with accurate control over the process parameters, the crops could be engineered to be tastier and healthier. In this project, we use Presents, the edge computing device from Sony Semiconductor Solutions, to develop a fully automated and intelligent hydroponic system that allows remote monitoring and control of the system and uses machine learning techniques to monitor plant health. Spresents is perfectly suited for developing an intelligent hydroponic system, given its ability to acquire sensor data, perform onboard visual AI, execute deep learning algorithms based on sensor data, and report data on the cloud. We have set up a hydroponic system based on the nutrient film technique. In this approach, the plant roots are exposed to a thin film of nutrient solution flowing through gently sloping channels. The nutrient solution is pumped using a pump and submersed in the water storage tank. The solution flows over the roots before returning to the storage tank. The nutrients are periodically added to the storage tank. In addition, an aeration pump keeps the nutrient solution oxygenated to provide the necessary oxygen to the roots. In our indoor hydroponics system, the plants grow under LED grow lights. We then instrumented the hydroponic system with various sensors for monitoring the process parameters such as temperature, humidity, liquid level, and nutrient flow rate. We also installed sensors for measuring the pH and TDS of the nutrient solution, which are critical to plant growth. We carefully calibrated all the sensors to remove systematic uncertainty in the measurements. Sensors for measuring temperature, humidity, liquid level, and flow rate work continuously. On the other hand, continuously immersing the pH and TDS sensors in the nutrient solution can adversely impact the sensor life. Therefore, we developed a mechanism to periodically immerse the sensors into the nutrient solution to make the measurements. In particular, we designed and developed a linear stage on which pH and TDS sensors are mounted. We designed the customized parts in CAD software and 3D printed them. The linear stage is actuated by a stepper motor that rotates a lead screw. To interface the sensors and actuators with Spresents, we designed and fabricated a customized printed circuit board. Spresents and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module sit on the main PCB. All the sensors and the relays to actuate the system are interfaced elegantly through the PCB. The linear stage is precisely controlled by Spresents. The motor driver acts as an interface between the circuit and the stepper motor. The relays control the power to the water and aeration pumps and the grow lights. We programmed the Spresents board to operate the water and aeration pumps in a cycle with two hours of on-time and one hour of off-time. Similarly, the pH and TDS sensors on the linear stage collect samples at intervals of two hours. Spresents also controls the operation time of the grow lights to mimic the day and night pattern. Next, we developed a cloud-based IoT dashboard to access real-time sensor data remotely. To this end, we used the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to transfer the sensor data to the cloud wirelessly. The IoT dashboard allows the users to view real-time and historical sensor data and provides alerts regarding any anomalies. The user can also actuate the hydroponic system remotely. For example, we can remotely actuate the linear motor to submerge the pH sensor and obtain the current pH measurement. 
We can switch on and off the grow lights through the IoT dashboard. We can also control the water and aeration pumps through the dashboard. Over one year, we successfully grew several crops on our hydroponic system, including lettuce, parsley, celery, okra, mint, chili pepper and basil. We also worked on implementing deep learning algorithms on Spresents to monitor and report plant growth to realize our goal of an intelligent hydroponic system. To this end, we interfaced the Spresents board with the camera add-on module. To demonstrate the classification of healthy and unhealthy plants, we purposefully induced nutrient deficiency in some basil plants while the remaining plants were given the required nutrients. We then captured the images of healthy and unhealthy plants using the camera add-on module of Spresents. We also captured images of the hydroponic channel without a plant. That is, we captured images of three classes, healthy, unhealthy, and no plants. We augmented the dataset by randomly rotating, flipping, and zooming the images using the Augmenter Python package. We then used Edge Impulse to train a convolutional neural network model with 80% of the images. The trained neural network predicts the plant health with over 97% accuracy. Here, we demonstrate the use of neural network for monitoring plant health. Initially, there is no plant under the camera, and the system correctly identifies the absence of a plant. Next, we place a healthy basil plant under the camera. The neural network uses the live image of the camera and identifies that the plant is healthy. Similarly, when we place a nutrient-deficient basil plant under the camera, the neural network identifies it as unhealthy. We also explored other machine learning models for quantifying plant growth. For example, we used a neural network model based on mobile net v2 architecture to detect and count the plant leaves. We trained the neural network using an existing dataset. We then deployed the model on Spresents using Edge Impulse. This approach allows for real-time leaf detection. Another approach that we used to quantify plant growth was through onboard image processing without machine learning techniques. In this approach, we captured real-time images of the plant using Spresents. We then binarized the plant image by detecting the green portion of the image. Using the binarized image data, we quantified the growth parameters, including the plant height and the projected area. Overall, in this project, we leveraged the edge computing and machine learning capabilities of Spresents to realize an intelligent indoor hydroponic system. In the future, we can use the data captured over several cropping cycles to maximize the plant yield and engineer healthy and tasty produce for your plate.